female rapper? Okay. Yeah, she's a rapper, but she's like, she's very conceited. Yeah, they're very conceited. Yes, they're so conceited, and they think they're convinced. Whatever. They do have pretty eyes, though. They look like uh, Black Panthers. I swear to God, that's what my thing is about Sagittarius. Every time they ask me about that, I'm like, they're so fucking conceited. They're full of themselves. They wish they were a Leo narcissist. That's what they wish they were. They wish they had all that power that a Leo does if they if they have any power. I don't think they have fucking shit. They're just fucking narcissists. And just, you try to have fun with them because that's all they want to do with you and they're not loyal. And it's like, this is a fucking shithole of being. Like, all these people, like Scorpios, are fucking evil. I noticed. I noticed. They're sweet. Like, At the same time, they show you kindness and, like, the rarity of the d- darkness, like, we are in the dark here, everyone is alone, there is no God, we are our own God, I'm a Scorpio, and this is the darkness that we're all in together and despair, but I'm gonna be sweet for a little bit, but then again, like, they don't give a fuck about being loyal to you, really, they, this death that you part, they're, they're gonna kill you or make you wish that you were dead. And then, like, when you die, are they gonna be there for you in the spiritual world? Because Pisces is like, hello, I'm in the spiritual world, and I've been living for the spiritual world, I've been wanting to put y'all in the spiritual world, and like, hello, there's something after death, and it's us, and we still continue living. Uh, hello, I mean, hello. This is the whole last product, all the signs in one, bitch. And then Scarborough is just like, everything I thought was dead and it's all black. No, we're still here, idiot, we still exist. Even though you didn't care about nothing, and you let everything die, and you let all your possessions go to waste, and just like a Virgo, they throw everything away. Like, it's crazy. Like, they are so wasteful, the Scorpios and Virgos, and... Like, they're not very sentimental, like a cancer sign would be, but your moon signs in cancer, so you might be a little bit sentimental. I don't really fucking know. Oh, they throw a lot of stuff away. I do. <laughs> yeah, Virgos are wasteful as shit. Like, they don't eat their whole plate. I lick my plate clean. Like, I do not waste a thing or crumb. That's how my grandma taught me, and I, I, I do agree with that. And my grandma was a Pisces moon tourist. <clears throat> Once I realized that, just just for telling me that. I'm like, yes, I totally agree. Nothing should go to waste. And like, no, don't throw things away. They could be useful or they could be to charity or they could be sold. I mean, think like, you know, tourists can be kind of a hoarder of weird, stupid things, but they know what's valuable and shit. So I don't know if they're wasteful. They, they're litterers. They don't really give a fuck. They're just, I don't know. Whatever. I noticed something like Trina, she always talks about like, Hmm. Yeah, it's always like, Look, I own a car. Like, oh my god, I'm a ninja. Like, who gives a fuck that how you get around as long as you come to my house and I never see your fucking car? That's fine. I got a watch, but I never fucking look at it. It's expensive as fuck. It's full of pure gold. I didn't know you had a watch. I don't even know what time it is. I don't care about Pisces. <laughs> I'm not shallow like you bitches. I'm not materialistic, but I am actually materialistic in a way because my second house is cancer, so everything that I have and own is like, oh, it's my baby, and I'm very sentimental, and I'm attached to it, so I don't waste that either. I would never get rid of my binky, blanky kind of stuff. That's what I'm mother here. Just, you know, listening to her music and stuff, you know, she's, she's really materialistic. Yeah, like, so I, I, Yeah, she's like, look at me, look at me, you know, look what I got. Like, fuck who cares. Good. Congratulations, bitch. You collected some ugly, boring-ass shit. You're not creative. Like, what? You're proud of your possessions. Okay. Like you. Like you. You would be proud of your possessions, though, too. And the way you communicate, bitch, because your Leo is in, and your ego is with your possessions, your second house, and your third house. Isn't that weird? Right. Yes. So, basically, you might act like that. conceited and convinced they're they're all about their looks too which is really weird when they're not about their health because they really just ignore it and we can't get ulcers and stuff like that i mean they're crazy they're unhealthy as fuck at home they have pretty good skin though like cancer signs and they're so unhygienic and they have really good skin they still look like a moon face baby face the cancer signs um it's crazy. I don't really fucking know what to say now because I don't know. It's too much time wasting. Is people like Brittany Murphy is my favorite singer and Jenna Joplin and Avril Lavigne and um I don't really 
know. I know. I really think it's a Libra moon, Scorpio, Leo rising, 10th house, Taurus. Um, OTAP is a Scorpio. I don't know if she's Scorpio rising or moon, Scorpio, but that's what she said. And then she lied about it or she didn't. I don't really fucking know. That's who I like. OTAP, you know, she's like a heavy metal singer. You know what I'm talking about? If you don't, whatever. We'll move on to the next singer. Janice Joplin is like a motherfucking Capricorn. And I forgot her moon's on her rising sign. And then, I don't remember. Brittany Murphy is a Scorpio. And she's like Leo rising or moon and Leo. And, or Moon and Scorpio, or Scorpio Rising, some bullshit like that, but that's what she is. And, and also, Shannon Doherty is also a motherfucking singer, but you wouldn't know that, but she does sing in a movie, and she's an Aries, Moon and Scorpio, um, Virgo Rising, which I love Virgo Rising, they're so readable, and like, they're just cool, and blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Those are people I can pay attention to. I don't really know about anybody else, I don't really know fucking anything about musicals, um, people's names and bands I just think oh that's a really cool song that's a really cool song but whatever I, I don't I'd rather just conversate and watch things to learn things I don't need to listen to a, a video I like Hillary Duff I mean I don't care I like all this stuff like Joel and Delon Forsett Delon Forsett's a Gemini Hillary Duff's a Virgo Cus Libra and all kinds of fucking bullshit I can go into and just keep on talking to myself about it and why you listen to me who do you like and music because you know your moon's in cancer so you want to be emotionally intimate and uh, and, uh kind of music kind of stimulates that i guess right i like music i guess yeah, but definitely. i can't learn about I'm music not i'm not that interested in learning about what's their name i don't fucking care i just like listening to it it's beautiful and awesome i mean there's so many songs from stained stained is a band okay that's all i know i don't know their names Stain. We listened to it for years. I still don't know their names. Like, like my fucking friends that were these juggalo fucking losers. Uh, they got so mad at me and stopped being my friend because I don't even know the names of each of the juggalo of the ICP people. I like their music, but I wasn't obsessed like they fucking were. Like, who gives a fuck? I'll put paint on my face like them too, and that'd be cool. Yeah, for the hell of it, because ICP is cool. Go for you. Yes, and I like the symbol of that bullshit. Yeah, sure. But like I wasn't obsessed with it as much as yeah, like I wasn't yeah, I wasn't obsessed with it as much as they were. And this they got mad at me. Like, what the fuck? Loser? That's a poser as a friend. That's like because I C P is like a group thing. Like when when you think you're a juggalo man, oh my god, you're you're tatted for that kind of group of thuggy uh uh people for life, punky wannabes or some shit. So you just automatically are friends in that club. That's cool. Whatever. <sighs> yeah. So, and I they forgot. Have good music. I think there are a lot of side shares and Scorpios in that band. I'm not sure. I don't know. Who does? Who? See, I don't know any of the new shit. I hate the new crap. Anyways. Rihanna? Yeah, I that's. Like Rihanna. She's a Pisces. I don't give a fuck. I don't even know what her music is. I don't mean to be a dumbass to this generation, but ew. There is nothing cooler in this generation at all. The 90s is over. That was the golden years, and this shit sucks. And so was the 80s and all the other fucking years. This generation, 2000, yeah. sucks. Like, fuck you and this stuff. It's not deep, it's not anything, it's just bullshit. I like the priorities of it, like how they make fun of everyone. I mean, sure, I'll like whoever, but if I meet them and I'm like, uh oh, I made a video and said that I didn't like them, oops, I'm embarrassed. Fuck you, I don't know you or those people this is not my taste my taste was back then like on Avril Lavigne ever since when Avril Lavigne started liking pink everything fucking sucked in the social media world everything every band everyone just sucked once she started liking pink because oh I hate the color pink and it ruined everything but I still love Avril Lavigne but I fucking hate, I hate the color pink I fucking hate it but I do like that girl pink who sings or whatever she's actually a Virgo and, um, yeah, I like her songs and shit like that, but I just hate that color, so deal with it, bitch. <laughs> and it's the ugliest yeah. motherfucking artificial, corny-ass, motherfucking fake-ass color ever. I just don't like it. Okay, okay. I like lavender and beige. Okay, okay. Whatever. Beige, so Beige? You think that's the boring color? I know, right? You wouldn't think that I like beige, but I really like it. It's so pretty. I don't know. It's like You're a... Like you think that that would be a Virgo color? Me too. The polarity is Pisces. I the think lavender so. purple. Par polarity is a. Yeah, I think that would be a Virgo color. That's always what I thought. I have a costume for a, my Virgo character that's going to be wearing 
a apricot colored beige. So that's what I think too. I really do think that's a Virgo color too. So I always liked Virgos, but now I really just don't. I don't so know. Are you an astrologer or what? We, this is astrology. This is all it is. You are too. Once you know your chart, you become a practitioner of astrology. You're never just officially, oh, I'm an astrologer. I get paid for it because I fucking feel like uh, fraudulently uh, boning people for their money. Who gives a fuck talking to them? It's a conversation and it's this, it's this experience. Who gives a fuck how much time you waste? Record it all, then give it to you. Deliver it for free. Fuck your stupid ass life. Even if you want to make money up and you have to, I guess that's the only way you're going to have to because just deal with what you learned is what you learn. I guess it is value to other people. It's value to you and you can make money off of it. Who gives a fuck? I'm not trying to make money off that. This is like junk. This is just common fucking sense. It's not psychic. I am psychic. I am psychic, but I'll do that for free too because God's for free. If anything that I get enlightening for, I will give it to you all for free. I mean, if I get a message from God, I'm going to fucking tell you about it. I don't give a fuck how schizophrenic or fucking hallucination you think I sound like. Whatever. I've got evidence on my psychic ability, so I'll continue. Hello. Fuck. You know what I mean? Just, yeah. just saying. I just recorded all of that shit. It's nonsense, right? It's nonsense. But you're right. Yes. I want to get this on camera that the Virgo color is like a beige color. I'm so mad. <laughs> People are going to know things that I know first because I have this Aquarius energy in me and I know the trends of the future and I'm already ahead of all of you. But if I postpone it, everyone's going to miss out. And I'm going to miss out on the things that I discovered or um, think that I know more than all of you. Blah, blah, blah. We're so original. You can't take that race. I'm so always be ahead, bitches. Hello, ego boosting motherfucker. So close to God, a world ruler that I think I am God, kind of Aquarius thing. We're all gods. We all are the friend. We're not just some fucking, we're all kings and queens. Go fuck yourself, Leo. Blah, blah, blah. You're not my king. You're your own king. What oh my here? gosh. I don't know, some stupid shit like that. That's the player. I like Leo. Well, I like the confidence. You like what? The confidence? Yeah. It's fake. Leos are very confident. Hmm. I think they're naive, so that doesn't seem very confident. To, I'm not very confident. They're naive. I think that's really dumb. And they're not... I mean, fuck that. I think that's stupid. Like, it just holds me back on intelligent... Expanding my mind, because my nine thousand is in Aquarius, and I have stellium in there. So, like, higher learning. I mean, they're not going to get me anywhere besides having a little bit of fun and just wasting my time on this lower, deranged world of you let's let's wait your life partying which is the actual celebration after you are done learning everything then you celebrate and you get everyone together to be fun i don't really know i don't really fucking know i think pisces is the deal the spiritual deal the, the real deal and stuff like that i don't really know i have a different perspective on things because of my relationship with the other signs so just all of them anyways all of them has been destroyed so fuck all of them. I can never regain it if it doesn't come back and forth. I mean, forgiveness is fine. Whatever, come back in my life. I, I want to take you forever. I want to stay friends with everyone I've ever encountered, and that's what I thought would happen, but everybody is an, an idiot. You can outgrow your friendships, too, but so what? We should always be friends, no matter how much we get mad at each other. That's just a test. Like, we should be able to go back together, right? Nobody else sees it that way. And nobody has the effort to put into bringing us back together in that way and just be like, it's fine, it's settled, whatever. Even if we don't have anything to talk to about to each other, we're still always going to be friends and keep ourselves as close as we can, if possible. And it's like a big responsibility to have friends, too. And it's um, a lesson to learn because Aquarius rules the world of friends. <sighs> Fuck. Yep, soulmates. I think that everyone that's in your life should be your soulmate. You learn th something through them, through the bad and the good. And it doesn't matter if you're interested in them and you lost interest in them. It's still something in your life that you should take care of. You should keep in mind that that's somebody who survived this world. I mean, not everyone. You think about it, the whole world is full, filled with pop overpopulation, but then again, beggars can't be choosers, and then again... That's somebody that's actually on this planet. Think about if you went to the moon and you only found like two couple people on that planet, wouldn't you want to stay close to them? 